What's up, Facebook? Uh, just coming on. I'm going to get Periscope set up. Prophet David Taylor here, ready to uh, deliver the weekly live prophetic word. I have to tell you that uh, service this morning at church was absolutely off the chain. My pastor had us do some confessions for the new year, and it was just so powerful. And uh, just so glad I went. So I strongly encourage those of you that didn't go to church this morning to try to go tonight, or if you have a watch night service on Tuesday, try to go on Tuesday, try to ring in the new year, or try to give honor to God for the year that we just lived, and then open your ear to the prophetic so you can hear what the Lord has to say for the year coming up. All right. I might have got one more thing I could pull up. I forgot. All right. Let's get that going. Yep, yeah, I'm always doing multiple recordings. But anyway, so yeah, Prophet David Taylor here. So glad to be with you on this last Sunday of 2019. It's just astonishing to me that this is the last Sunday of 2019. It seems like 2019 has just flown by. Like, where did it go? Because I remember ringing the new year in. And I remember, you know, everything that was happening at the end of 2018 and a whole bunch of stuff. And now here we are. And the last Sunday of 2019, I just wow, just wow, just don't know what to say, except praise God, praise God for another year, because everybody didn't make it out of 2019. So I just praise God for another year, praise God for coming to the last Sunday, praise God for a chance to deliver the prophetic word to you. So let's dive right in. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for bringing us to this last Sunday of 2019. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your continued and extended grace and mercy. I ask you to speak through my mouth, Lord. I surrender my mind, my tongue, my my lips, my brain, my hand motions, everything, oh God, to your control, oh God, everything to your filling of the Spirit, oh God, so that what you want spoken might be spoken. So breathe on me and breathe through me right now, oh God, that you might be glorified and that the saints might be edified and that the demons might be terrified. We thank you for it. We believe you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, amen and amen. So, uh, when you come on this video, please like and share. Um, because when there's a prophetic word released, everybody around the world needs to hear it. So, please like and share. Today's prophetic word is missile. Missile, that's right. M-I-S-S-I-L-E. Missile. Okay, and I'll explain to you what that means, and then I'll I'll show you our root scripture. Okay, but I feel like I need to release that prophetic word first, and then we'll look at the scripture. So behold, my people, this year I do send you forth as a missile. I do send forth and bless the work of your hands as a missile, and it shall shoot to the top, and it shall shoot to the atmosphere, and it shall shoot into the stratosphere with the force of a thousand suns, with all the energy behind that it takes a missile to lift off and break the Earth's gravity, so shall you be, and so shall the work of your hands be in 2020. Behold, I send you forth, and I have declared it, says the Lord. Amen and amen. Wow. So the Holy Ghost gave me that, and that's pretty self-explanatory, but I will uh, explain it some more <clears throat> about what God is going to do for us in 2020. Let's look quickly at a scripture. Nehemiah 4 and 17. Nehemiah is in the Old Testament. Nehemiah was tasked with rebuilding the wall. When the wall had been broken down, Nehemiah was called by God to rebuild it. But Nehemiah had to build with his builder's tool in one hand and many times a sword or a weapon in his other hand. That's kind of what he's known for. So we're going to read Nehemiah 4 and 17. The builders on the wall... I'm reading out of the Young's literal translation. The builders on the wall and the bearers of the burden, those lading, each with one of his hands is working in the business and one is laying hold of the missile. The translation there of that word missile is a ballistic weapon, a weapon fired, thrown or projected as a lance, an arrow, or a bullet. All that's very significant. So the Lord is saying here that there are builders on the wall. Well, remember, 2020 is the year of perfect vision. 2020 is a year of perfect clarity. 2020 is the year that we get right in the center of the will of God, 
the perfect will of God, and we learn how to stay there. Okay, that involves building. That involves you taking the vision God has dropped in your heart and your spirit and making it live out here. So it says, the builders on the wall and the bearers of the burden, those laying. That's talking about the brick layers, brick layers and the cement layers and those that had to bring all the tools and all the elements back and forth to the wall to actually build it. Okay? Each with one of his hands is working in the business. Now, right there, it's talking about working in the business. So he's saying that <clears throat> you've got one of those hands working in the business, the business of building that wall. Okay? But then it says, and one is laying hold of the missile. Because remember I told you, in Nehemiah's time, they had to use a shield or they had to use a spear or they had to use a, a, a missile, a lance, an arrow. They had to use something to fight with. Well, what the Holy Ghost told me in that prophecy I just released, what the Holy Ghost was showing me is that in 2020, what God is going to do for both you and the works of your hands, God is going to shoot it forth like a missile. First of all, God is going to shoot you forth like a missile. So in other words, whatever you're involved in, you're going to go straight to the top. You're going to project up. You're going to project, project up with great acceleration and speed, just like a rocket when it's, leaving, when it's leaving Earth's atmosphere. But then also the missile in your hand, meaning the weapons fire, the, the arrows that you shoot, the bullets that you shoot, the things that you throw, they also are going to be accelerated as missiles. Okay? And this is God's promise of acceleration for those that, that believe and for those that have been, been faithful going into 2020. Now, my pastor talked about this morning about making confessions. His sermon this morning was about how your tongue is the pen of a ready writer and that you can write your future and you can write your destiny <clears throat> based on what you say. It was so powerful. So uh, I challenge you to look up Apostle John Eckhart's sermon today on 12 19 about the tongue as the pen of a ready writer because it'll change your life. But when you sit underneath that kind of anointing, when God releases something like that to you, and generally when God releases a prophetic word, you have to grab it. You have to grab it by faith. That's what the Lord has been training us about all these years. You've got to grab it by faith and you have to believe it. But if you do grab it and you do believe it, then it will begin to manifest in your life. And so this prophetic word that's coming through me now, the Lord is saying that acceleration like a rocket, like a missile, is available to us through faith. So what does that mean through faith? That means you got to HBO, you got to hear it, you got to believe it, and you got to obey it. That means you got to start saying it. You got to make it a part of your daily confession that the Lord is going to shoot me up like a missile, that the Lord is going to shoot the works of my hands like a missile, and they're going to accelerate like a rocket, and they're going to take me straight through the stratosphere. Okay? You got to believe that, you got to start confessing that, and then you got to add some works to it, meaning you have to prepare your work for that to happen. You have to prepare yourself for that to happen. What would you do if all of your dreams came true tomorrow? What if somebody knocked on your door tomorrow, Monday, 12, 30, 19, and everything you ever wanted was just standing right there? What would you do? Do you have a plan for success? That's my point. Do you have a plan for success? Most people have a plan for failure because when you fail, you get up and learn your lessons and try again. But do you have a plan for success? What if God just opened all the doors all at once and dropped it all in you? Could you handle that? Has God been working on your character long enough for you to handle that? But also, do you have a plan? That's the thing. A lot of people pray for money, but I stopped by to ask you, what would you do if you got a windfall of money? If you got into the six figures or if you got into the millions? Or maybe if you got into the tens of millions or what about the hundreds of millions? What would you do if you got all, do you know what to do? Would you know what to do? Would you know how to take that cash and build your dream? That's the obedience part. That's putting the works behind your faith. That when God says, I'm going to accelerate you, and God says, I'm going to shoot you as a rocket, and I'm going to shoot the works of your hands as a rocket, that means you got to get ready for that. What if somebody from a TV show called you tomorrow and said they wanted you to come on a national TV show like Good Morning America or The View or, or you know, uh, Today on NBC? Would you know what to do with that? Would you be ready if something like that happened? What if those of you who have been waiting to be in a relationship, what if you've been praying 
for a spouse? What if you met them all of a sudden and the Holy Ghost let you know this one's the one? What would you do? Are you ready? You know, sometimes we can pray for something for so long, we can confess something so long, we can believe something for so long, but we stop believing that it's ever actually going to show up. But what would you do? See, you have to have a plan for success. And when God said he's going to accelerate you, that means things are going to pop off. That means they're, they're going to happen really, really fast. Are you ready for that? Could you handle that? See, so that's the old part of HBO. Here is hearing your prophetic word like we just heard. Believe is receiving it in here in your mind and your heart and your spirit and beginning to confess it with your mouth. The same way you get saved. But O is the obedience part where you're saying, if God is going to make something happen for me like that, I got to be ready. I got to have my clothes ready. I got to have my 15 second elevator pitch ready. I got to have my travel stuff ready. I got to be ready. You see what I mean? If you really believe it. Okay. So that's what the Lord said he's doing for us in 2020. And I say, amen, amen, and amen. And I'm ready to receive it. I'm ready to walk in it. And I'm ready to go. I'm not ready to go. I'm ready to go. All right. Amen and amen. Okay. If you have any prayer requests, put them on the screen. Uh, that's it. Short teaching this week. Um, if you have any prayer requests, put them on the screen. Now, several things that are going to be released next week. I'm releasing two videos. I'm releasing two locator videos. One locator video is for the end of the year. It's going to be on December 31st, 2019. So we can get our grades from Jesus for the end of this year. Then the next video is going to be the next day on January 1st, 2020. So we can get a prophetic locator word from the Lord for the year. So we can see where Jesus is and what we need to line up under. Whatever the Lord is doing, whatever he's releasing, we need to be sure we line up under it. Because my pastor released something like that today. Like I said, writing your destiny, writing your future. That was powerful. So those two videos are coming. And at last, my prophetic devotional is here. Now, I put the link underneath uh, the video last week. So I'm going to do it again this week on my Facebook Live and on my YouTube uh, there, and I'll put it on my Twitter too. There's a link, my prophetic, my daily prophetic devotional, where every day focuses on one prophetic scripture that you meditate and pray back to God and then sit and let God talk to you. You write down the revelations that you get from the Holy Spirit, and then you come back on a later date and you write down the blessings and the, the obedient, the blessings you got from obedience and the harvest you got as that word came to pass. So it's teaching you how to walk in the prophetic every day and how to hear from God for yourself and how to write down the results because there's nothing like a journal where you can actually mark results. So all that, that prophetic journals is available now and the two videos will be released next week. So I'm super excited. I'm super excited about all that. And uh, we're just moving forward. So... Okay, if no prayer requests, then I'm going to go in the Spirit, ask the Holy Ghost, is there anything else I'm supposed to release? Yes, there's a general prophetic word I need to release about healing. And here it is. Thus saith the Lord, it doesn't make any sense for you to believe in a God that casts out demons and you believe in wheelchairs. For the Lord says, when I walked the earth as a man, anybody that came to me broken, left whole. So therefore, I am challenging you, yea, even I command you, to walk in my full legacy of physical healing in 2020. No more wheelchairs, no more walkers, no more maimed, blind, deaf, dumb, mute, no more broken bones, no more headaches, no more physical oppression, no more premature death. And no more infertile women. If you want to have a baby, believe God so he can give you the child he wants you to bring in this earth. Says the spirit of the living God. Amen and amen. Full legacy of physical healing is ours in 2020. Now remember I told you, reach up and grab it. And no longer accept that if you believe in deliverance and you believe in casting out demons, that you're okay with wheelchairs and sickness. That doesn't make any sense. Many times a demon is behind the sickness. So you have to break the demon of sickness and then you have to heal the person's body. But we are no longer going to accept wheelchairs, walkers, broken limbs, uh, deaf, blind, uh, maimed, mute, premature death, nor infertile women or couples. No more in 2020.
All right. I think that's it. So amen and praise God. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so excited about shooting forth as a missile. I'm so excited about what my pastor talked about, which was writing your destiny with your confession. I'm so excited about walking in God's full uh, legacy of physical healing in 2020. That's all good things on the horizon, and I'm excited. All right? So thank you so much for this year, all of you that have watched me live every Sunday this year, every Sunday that I broadcast it. Thank you so much. Those of you that watch me on Periscope as well, those of you that watch the replay on YouTube, I got a lot of new and exciting things coming for my page and my website in 2020, so I'm excited about that. So I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, God bless you. I appreciate you. And as you know, I'm always happy to be used by God because God don't need me. God don't need me for nothing. But he's given me an opportunity to be used by him and to let his spirit flow through me. And I want to take every advantage of that opportunity. And I encourage you to do the same thing because there is no greater use of your life than to give your life in the service of the Lord. All right. Amen. God bless you. Don't forget to pick up a copy of my prophetic devotional. And don't forget to look for those uh, locator videos next week. And the next time I do this broadcast, I will see you in 2020. Amen. God bless you and have a great new year.